Uh, we've got at the University Club of Boston, that's Andrew Slater. We've got the number one seeds who just went up one love of uh, James Stout on the left wall in the black shirt. His partner, Scott Arnold, serving to Ryan Koskelly. Um, guys in salmon shirts are Australian. They wore salmon last night in their uh, victory in the quarterfinals, so maybe they're considering them lucky shirts at the moment. Now these guys, uh, you might hear all kinds of cheering in the background. We have a, another court here, and it is the, in the fifth game of the semifinal of the Pro-Am, and that uh, is uh, John White and Charlie Humber, and they're currently down to uh, Canadian Carter Robitaille and his amateur partner, Will Ahmed. Will Ahmed actually won the Massachusetts Open Doubles Tournament last year. Uh, so that's kind of the quality of the uh, amateurs that we have in um, the Pro-Am. So uh, with the huge crowd down below, uh, Susie Pierpont is refereeing this match, and she's having to come up to the upper deck here at the University Club of Boston. We, we had a huge renovation with the uh, Raffles Hotel in Singapore. That's a nice cross court by... Cameron Pilly that got by um, James Stout. So it's early in the first game, first men's semifinal, number one seeds, James Stout, English racket director at the Racket and Tennis in New York. His partner is Australian, Scott Arnold, who is the uh, director of squash at the Toronto Racket Club in Toronto. That's a nice little backhand reverse from Scott Arnold. So the Australians, we've got uh, live in Connecticut, Ryan Koskelly and Cameron Pilly are perennial semifinalists. They're the number, number three seeds for this tournament. Yet this year they've you know, they've maintained their seeding. However, they, they haven't broken through to beat uh, one of the top two teams. Um, and when I was talking to Chris Callis uh, on the streaming yesterday, he, he felt that, you know, they're, they're, they're due and they're, they're an extremely dangerous team. Um, in the Pro-Am match next door, we had John White, who was clocked at, uh, at his time when he was number one as being able to hit the hardest squash ball ever. Um, but that was uh, then surpassed by uh, the guy on the right wall and Sam and Cameron Pilly, also Australian. Nice read drop by James Stout to win that rally. Scott Arnold serving 5-3. Well, that's a quick hard backhand from James Stout. Shout in the crowd might have uh, distracted Ryan Kiskelly as he went to the back wall. So basically, that means that yes, the pro am match. I don't know who won that one, but it was a went into the fifth game. That's an error from Ryan. He started off slowly yesterday and then started burying, um, burying uh, great Nick winners and reverses yesterday. So. And that's a nice backhand drop into the neck by Scott Arnold. This is the first of the men's semifinals. We've got a second semifinal coming up right after this match. And that is the number two seeds, um, Chris Callis and his new partner, uh, Osama Khalifa. Uh, <coughs> those two made the finals of the Johnson tournament in New York a few weeks ago. Uh, quite a quite a significant lead here from uh, James Stout and Scott Arnold. Well, 
it's going to be a little deep. And that's even deeper. That it went clean over the net. And we found the ball in the crowd. <coughs> James Stout serving 9-4. It is the 2024 version of the um, MFS Boston Pro-Am Delos. One of the top tournaments of the year for the pros. Cameron Pilly had Scott Arnold pinned against the wall and Tried actually to hit him with the ball, missed, and we continue the rally here. Oop, and ball died at the back, and his sandwich did not keep the ball in play. Cameron Pilly to serve. Interesting that he, most of the time he's hard serves, and he's lob serving, maybe saving his energy for the next game since they're down 5-10. Oh, uh, there we go. At Ryan Kiskelly hit a number of those backhand rolls um, yesterday, so we'll see where that continues. Reverse, nice get by James Stout. That's a missed reverse by Ryan Kiskelly. And he will serve. We've got four forehands here. Two lefties, two righties. That's a nice three wall boast. 7-11, not completely out of this first game. They were down nine. They were down six points. Now we've back to just four points. Nice pickup by Cameron Pilly. There's the power of Cameron Pilly. Oh, and they went back through the middle, and Ryan Kiskelly made a racket error. But you can see when Cameron Pilly gets teed up, we'll wait later in the match. As, he's, as, he, as he strides in, he's got a couple of shots where he hits a roll and he hits a lob. Stout launched one out of court on a nothing ball, but they're still up 12-8 trying to close this first game. Well, oh, that's a nice pickup by Scott Arnold. Great length by Ryan Kiskelly. It was kind of a loose ball by James Stout, and he paid the price. Okay, only three points adrift here, so Cameron Pilly serving 9-12. First game. First game of the first men's semifinal. Oh, boy. That was just a gentle return by James Stout that just died at the back. Mm -hmm. 
And that is a terrific drive by Scott Arnold. So it's game ball now. 14-9 for the team in black. And that's it. Ryan Kiskelly makes the error. Okay, we'll be back in two minutes for game two of the first men's semifinal. Don't go away. Okay, what a great first point that was. We're back here at the University Club of Boston. It's Andrew Slater. First men's semifinal of the 2024 MFS Pro Doubles. Cameron Pilly was going to hit it really hard and lobbed it over Scott Arnold's head. And uh, Scott's partner, James Stout, came back and hit a backhand drop winner. Oh, that's some serious heat there. Cameron Pilly just stepping into that backhand and passing Scott Arnold. So the team in Salmon, perennial semifinalist, they, I was talking to Chris Callis, and he, he thinks that this team is up and coming and that they should be breaking into a final or two in the next little while. We'll see. They're up against the number one seeds. Oh, and Ryan Kiskelly hits a crack there. So they're up. They're up 2-1, second game, having lost the first. Oh, oh, he's calling a let. The serve was good. And a good pass by James Stout, but it's good um, retrieval from uh, the uh, back partner. And we're playing a let. So serving now is Cameron Pilly, who uh, was clocked at the highest forehand ever in squash. Australian, same with his partner. They're both in Connecticut. Uh, Cameron is at Appawanis in Rye, New York. Their opponent's in black, and they've got kind of these greenish olive shorts. 
number one seeds and winner of the last big tournament in Brooklyn, uh, the Heights Casino Tournament at Johnson. They beat uh, our number two seeds, Sam Khalifa and Chris Callis in the final. Oh, uh, power to Ryan Kiskelly. It's early in the second game. Got a big crowd here on Saturday night. The University Club of Boston. We've got extra viewing thanks to the $25 million that Raffles paid us for their air rights. So we have a whole new floor that we can look down on the court. Kind of like a pit. Nice pickup by James Stout. Pick up from the, uh, the reverse. Oh, that's not a good Philly. But good defense. Right. Yeah, that's a good backhand by Cameron Pilly. was too open for Scott Arnold. He buried it, and Cameron Pelly was wondering whether it kind of looked around, thinking, you know, please did it hit the 10, but it did not. You know, we're playing wet. Three, four. Scott Arnold serving to Ryan Kiskelly. Three Australians on the court. One Englishman. All working here in North America. Scott Arnold's in Toronto. Cameron Pilly's at Appalachia in Ryan, New York. Ryan's in Connecticut. And James Stout's the uh, rackets director at the Racket and Tennis in New York City. Nice drop shot there. So four all. Second game. Both teams kind of feeling each other out with the length. James Stout called to Scott and said, okay, you've tried a few backhand attempts. Let me take it through the middle. And he slotted in a really nice cross drop into the neck. Same guy hits the backhand drop into the top of the tin. Who knew? Good pick up by Scott Arnold, although this lob looks tough. Just gets it back off the back wall. Oh, oh boy, Ryan missed the and popped up to Scott Arnold, who put in a backhand winner. Oh boy, that's a freebie. 10 from Ryan Kiskelly. James Stout, they're up two, number one seeds.
Good dig by Cameron Pilly. And James Stout's in trouble, but he was able to retrieve that cross drop. Cameron Pilly's going over to Ryan. He's going, you know, one thing you can't do is hit the tin. You know, if it's a little above the tin, you know, someone's going to get it, but at least we're still in the rally. That's good length. And James Stout did not get that back off the back wall. Great shot. The um, the crowd is kind of silent here. It's a huge crowd. They're just in awe of this match. I mean, it's really good squash up and back. Scott Arnold trying to go through the middle. Cameron Pilly trying to go through the middle. He's such a rock over there, Scott Arnold. He, he hardly makes an error. And tough to move. Big guy. That's his curse as he hit a backhand 10. 8 all, second game. Cameron Pelly still serving. Here's an, uh, I like that shot that uh, Ryan Kiskelly played. It's kind of an inside out, not uh, kind of like a half Philadelphia. It comes through the middle of the court and has got some spin on it. Forces your opponent back with a weird angle. Good reverse. Oh, James Stout was there and tinned it. This announcer thinks that uh, the team and Salmon's got to win this game if they have any chance of beating these guys. But easier said than done, right there. Oh, look at that back. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he looked straight at Scott Arnold going, oh boy, I was kind of lucky that I hit that one so well. It's good length from Scott Arnold. Oh, it's gonna, oh, he got it back. Oh, that was cheeky. Cameron Pilly was running up for the roll, and <laughs> he was out held and just had a little dink in the center of the court. That was cheeky. Ryan's hit a couple of winners from there, and James Stout, has, as soon as Ryan goes back to hit that backhand, James Stout's moved two steps forward and, and just, you know, Put in a nice little drop for the winner. So Ryan's going to be very, very cautious about trying to hit that shot again. Scott Arnold hits a top front wall, overhead, into the side neck. And uh, look at that, three points in a row, just like that. There we go, Tomahawk from uh, Cameron from Philly. He is <laughs> showing Scott Arnold, I can do that too. 11 all. Good squash here. When I say good squash, I'm saying that winners are uh, are deciding rallies and not racket errors. Oh. Front wall side neck again. Tomahawk. Watch here. 12-11. Thank you. 
good defense from both teams here. Here we go, James Stout in the middle of the court with his backhand. I called out his backhand being a lefty that you know, he so far had a couple of winners off his backhand, so that's some serious pace from Cameron Pilly. each other out here, the cross courts going through the middle. Good dig, although here comes the power. Oh, Cameron Pilly, that what's funny is that he just got his racket on it, looked like a spasm, and he hit a winner. That's winner from James Stone. Short little straight drive. Nothing too fancy, but effective. Second game. And, and <laughs> it's when Cameron Pilly just said, you know what, you can hit that. I can hit it as well. He just hit the exact same shot that James Stout did. There, we've got four forehands up there, remember. 13 all, really. Salmon really needs to get this game to have any chance against the number one seeds. Cameron Pilly came around with his backhand. I think he was thinking backhand reverse and Scott Arnold was there. It's called the old sandwich, partner sandwich, when uh, both opposing players are set and you're stuck in the middle. Round the back, wow, it's such a critical point at three, 13 all. Good pick up by Cameron Pilly. show short and then hit the lob that was a little short and Scott Arnold's a tall guy I, everyone's pretty big out here on the right wall and it's game ball for the number one seeds James Stout and Scott Arnold in black that and hit a cross nick it just rolled out very disappointing for the team and salmon they're down 0-2 we'll be back for the third game don't go away
Okay, we're back for game three. It's Andrew Slater coming from the University Club of Boston. Two love for the number one seeds, albeit relatively close in that last game. Koskelly and, oh, Scott Arnold just dumped it. 10. So Koskelly and Pilly were up 9-6 in that last game and lost it 15-13. So they're quite capable of building a lead where they can finish. We'll have to find out. Just a review, this is the first men's semifinal of the 2024 MFS Pro-Am doubles in Boston. The team in Salmon are down 0-2. They're the number three seeds. Ryan Koskelly on the left wall, he's about to serve to Scott Arnold. Uh, he's based out of Connecticut, Australian, and his Australian partner Cameron Pilly is at Apollonis in Ryan, New York. Number one seeds, James Stout, who's the Rackets Director at the Racket and Tennis in New York. And his partner, Scott Arnold, is the Squash Director at the Toronto Club. Australian. Three Aussies out there. Uh, Susie Pierpont is refing this match. We've got line judges of Jeff Osborne and Josh Hughes. Both pro players we lost in the quarterfinals. Scott Arnold has been really deadly with that uh, overhead. He's hit a number of tomahawks and also uh, that reverse kind of died. Oh, Cameron Pilly. <coughs> trying to do the same, hit a 10, 4-1. Another error, they could just tin their way out of this uh, game if we're not careful. And I, I'm going to mention right after this uh, semifinal, we'll have the other men's semifinal. We've got U.S. national, newly crowned champions. It used to be called the U.S. amateur, but um, the top four teams in the pros cannot play in that uh, tournament. But uh, Elroy Leong and his partner Kyle Martino came out victorious, and they are our number four seeds. And they're going to take on number two seeds, Sam Khalifa and Chris Callas. Now, Chris Callas has won this tournament four years in a row with three different partners, and he's brought a fourth different partner here. Um, Manic Mathua retired and won it twice. And last year, he played with the currently injured Zach Alexander from Australia. Okay, we've got a long rally here. Team and Sam, Sam should be happier. Oh, that's short. Oh, power 10 by Cameron Pilly. He had Scott Arnold right up against the wall and didn't see him moving forward, so he figured that shot was open. First fault by James Stout. straight drop and hit a nice little roll. Nice hold. Huge lead here for the number one seeds. 8-2. Trying to finish this match in three to be rested for tomorrow. Oh, that's a nice soft reverse by Cameron Pilly to at least Save some face here. Three eight. Look 
That's a good pickup by Ryan Koskelly. Content to lob Stop. Scott Arnold. A big trouble with lobbing Scott Arnold. He's been really hot with the overhead, and now James Stout buries one. Yeah, front Nick, lefty Tomahawk. We've got four forehands out there. And all of them are quite capable of hitting that overhead winner. Oh, James has got to get out of the way. Oh, he can't get that one. <laughs> Cameron Pilly is blowing out some breath going, geez, what do we have to do to win a point against these guys? Oh, that was a Philadelphia that just hit right in the corner and rolled out. That's pretty impressive. 10-4. Ryan Kiskelly going for a reverse three wall. Oh, I, oh, you know what? I think Cameron hit his own partner with the three wall. Well, it goes bad, it goes horribly wrong, it looks like. Crack winner from Scott Arnold. Routine, they're, they're just cruising here. They, they are playing ridiculously well at the moment. Very disheartening when you see a team just, you know, wherever they hit, just is nicking and. Yeah, so that's only they kind of dicking around in the front there, and Ryan Koskelly finally got the uh, better of t James Stout. There's a Philly that could be trouble off the back wall. Okay, here comes the power. Yes. <laughs> he scores. <laughs> scores on the glove side. Oh, back wall, Nick. Nice pick up by Gene Stout off of the reverse. And okay, they're salvaging a little. Seven thirteen. He's not going to make the front wall. That was a great fake by James Stout. That was, looked like he was going short. Cameron Pilly was almost to the front wall and he saw it go over his head. Oh, that was just a work of art. <laughs> and Cameron Pilly basically goes, <laughs> he goes, he, that was, that was really, really impressive how well they played. Okay, we've got our second semifinal coming up uh, momentarily. Uh, give us like five, ten minutes for the warm up, and away we go. Don't go away.
Okay, we're back for the last match of the evening. In black shorts, we have newly crowned U.S. national champions, Elroy Leong from Malaysia and his partner, Kyle Martino. That's a good crossword. Chris Calasso. In the white shorts, we have the number two seed, Osama Khalifa, who is Egyptian but living in New York. Intercollegiate champion for St. Lawrence. And his partner is Chris Callis, originally out of Philadelphia, and he's a racket and tennis member in New York. He has won this tournament four years in a row with three different partners, and this is his fourth partner in five years. So uh, Chris loves coming to this event. Sanders Slater broadcasting from the University Club of Boston for the 2024 MSF Pro-Am Doubles. Well, the ball almost nicked at the back there. Now, um, we just witnessed uh, number one seeds, James Stout and Scott Arnold defeat uh, Australians uh, Ryan Cascali and Cameron Pilly. So they've moved into the final and Stout and Arnold uh, defeated Sam Khalifa in the last big uh, men's tournament. Uh, they defeated Sam Khalifa and Chris Callis in the final. Oh, and so Kyle Martino went off to the side there and begged for mercy that Chris Callis not kind of laughing. Chris, Chris was on the uh, mic with me yesterday and kind of laughing about some of the younger players, uh, you know, wanting safety less because they don't want to get hit by the ball. And, um, so that was a cross by Carl Martino um, and then realized that Chris Callis didn't see him and it looked like he was going to hit and kind of called out at the last minute that he was on the wall. Kind of like a, a beg, please don't hit that ball. That ball stays in play. That's some serious pace from Sam Khalifa's backhand. Okay, so the number two seeds are, I was just going to say we're serving up 4-2, but that was a nice winner from uh, Elro Leon. I noticed in this um, match, the last couple matches, that when the ball is kind of a sitter for him, he can, he can absolutely put the ball away. Uh, so we'll try and figure out what they're going to do with him. You know, they're coming off that win at the U.S. Nationals where they beat, you know, all of the rest. So we'll see whether they can uh, stand in there with uh, the big boys. And, and uh, Kyle Martino framed it off the tight ball, and it made the front wall. Oh, that's a nice drop shot. Oh, boy. Martino serving to Sam Khalifa. It's a Philly. So I was talking to Chris Callis um, yesterday uh, while we were streaming and we watching um, actually their match here. Kyle, and he was saying that some of the stuff that uh, Sam has improved on is that, that uh, using his hard backhand pace and keeping it, you know, knee height to the right wall player. And just how well he has, can take the pace off a uh, hard shot and then gently drop it into the front of the corner. And it doesn't look like Leong and Kyle Martino want to 
bring uh, Sam Khalifa to the front wall. Oh, that's a reverse. There's it's an error from Kyle overhead to. had a um, five-game victory by Will Ahmed in the Pro-Am. He was playing with uh, Canadian Carter Robitaille as his, uh, as his pro partner, and they defeated um, tournament chairman Charlie Humber and his partner John White from Australia. 15-12 in the fifth, so they go on to play in the final of the Pro-Am, they, they play um, Dave Adams and his partner, who escapes me at the moment. That, that's going to be a good final. Through the middle from uh, Sam Khalifa. Oh, and, and there, and so back in. Backhand mistake from uh, Elroy. So with a with a lefty, you know, I like to go through the middle quite a bit just to test their backhand. Although I kind of called out James Stout yesterday, and he hit a magnificent backhand drop uh, from the back of the court with his lefty backhand. Look at that, both, that little roll that was hit, both Khalifa and Callas were ready to pounce all over that and hit the crap out of the ball. 9-6 for the number two seeds, trying to make it into the final against the number one seeds that for a revenge match in that they lost the final at Heights Casino Mistake. Sam Khalifa is asking for a let, and pretty much if it doesn't nick, he's going to get the ball. He's uh, very tall and very quick. He's asking for a let, and possibly a point. I'd want him to uh, hit that ball. Because... Elroy is not looking and won't know where it's going. Yeah, that's, uh, and Sam is congratulating Chris Callis, his partner, on picking a great spot through the middle with that power. He's kind of laughing it off, but he knows how important it is not to make errors against a team of this caliber. Oh, boy. Kyle is grunting out a sigh of disgust knowing that you've got to keep the ball in play. It's kind of a floater from Sam Khalifa that he got away with. That's going to be a lot. 
Good spot for Sam Khalifa to play that forehand, though. I'm testing his. Make sure that Kyle. Good rally there, but it ended in uh, Chris Callis' 10, which is very unusual because he prides himself in trying not to make any errors. That's that really good touch that you got to watch out for from nice dive by Sam Khalifa and to keep the ball in play and a reverse winner from Elroy. Wow, what a great point that was. Oh, and it looks like Elroy's uh, reverse was a 10, but that was a great dive by Sam Khalifa. It's now game point. Sam Khalifa serving to Kyle Martino. Yeah, it's good hurry up, uh, get the ball hit hard by Elroy Leong. And nice pass by Sam Khalifa. Okay, that's the first game to the number two seeds. We'll be back in two minutes. Don't go away.
Okay, we're back for game two. It's Andrew Slater coming from the University Club of Boston, 2024 MFS Pro Doubles Championship. We've got the number two seeds uh, out in front, one game to love. They're in the white shorts. On the left wall, we got uh, from Egypt, Osama Khalifa, who, intercollegiate champion. Um, he was picked up by Chris Callis this year. Chris has won this tournament four years with three different partners. And Sam is partner number four, hoping to continue that streak. Uh, their opponents in all black, black shorts, black shirt, are the current U.S. national champions. Uh, used to be called the U.S. amateur, but they let pros in a few years ago as long as they weren't in the top four teams. Um, and they were able to beat the rest of the field, and they are seated fourth in this tournament. They beat a couple of Aussies yesterday in three games, uh, Matt Jensen, Jeff Osborne. Uh, Chris Callis helped me out with that match because he wanted to not only scout um, Elroy and Kyle, but he we, we talked about his uh, new partner here who's got tremendous skill. It's a really hard cross-court backhand. Uh, really good up front in that he can take the pace off the ball and hit some beautiful drop shots. The only thing that I noticed in the Johnson final when they, lo they lost the number one, our number one seeds here, Stout and Arnold, is that he did make, it, make a few um, errors from uh, his backhand from the back of the court, but very few. court uh, was let go by Elroy and just died at the back so great angle from Chris Callis nice get despite the fact that Chris calling Sam off to just lob the ball back oh that's a nice little soft roll from uh, Elroy Leong for a winner. Nice shot. One all. Second game. That's a good hands from Kyle Martino because Sam Khalifa, he's actually acknowledging Kyle's um, quick uh, forehand racket there. That's a good reverse from uh, Elroy Leong. So the number four seeds are out to a 3-1, albeit small lead in the start of the of this game. Oh boy. Tosses his racket because I mean, he set up to hit that ball hard, and Elroy Leong was backing up, and Sam hit the 10, so he's upset that, you know, all he had to do was hit the front wall to win that point. Okay, both teams kind of feeling each other out. We're gonna call, we're gonna play a lot there. It got behind Elroy a little bit, but Sam didn't move, so his only shot was really to go down the wall. Uh, and then uh, Sam was in the way of that one.
pretty impressed with uh, Kyle Martino's hands on. Sam didn't get that one. Wow, this is quite surprising. It's a 5 1 lead. I'm uh, currently with the pace that Sam Khalif is hitting his backhand cross courts. Uh, Kyle Martino has not been passed. Yeah, it's quick up there. So he got there, but what he did is he, he didn't hit it overly hard, but he got it away very quickly. Both players went for the backhand, hit each other's rackets, and now the number two seeds are only at 3-5. playing a lot there. Good dig from Sam Khalifa. Elro was uh, set up to hit that uh, drop shot. Uh, didn't really give it much, much uh, mustard on it and uh, hit it into the tin. Kind of floated it into the tin. Um, with this doubles ball, you, you've got, when you go for a shot, you've got to be decisive with it because the, the little bit more pace you put on it, the ball stays down. And, oh, Elroy, a couple tins in a row. So that uh, early lead has now been vanquished. Chris Callis serving, five all. And that's a good screen by Sam Khalifa. Uh, Elroy didn't see it till the last second. So what I've noticed that with uh, Sam Khalifa's uh, cross courts, instead of going right at Carl Martino's um, right hip or right knee, He's actually breaking the ball early, so it comes into Kyle's backhand. And although Kyle's getting it back, he, they're, they're not uh, they're not solid. That's a good cut drop by his balls. Seven five. Two-point lead for the number two seeds, trying to make it into the final against their nemesis, James Stout, Scott Arnold. There's that, that, there's that inside out cross that Sam Khalifa is starting to use on Kyle. Kyle's starting to adjust to it now. He's looking for it. Oh, that's a good overhead reverse by Elroy. And there's Chris Callis going through the middle. And, you know, on a lefty's right hip, that's where they're uh, usually vulnerable. And uh, Elroy was not uh, looking for it and made the error. Sam Khalifa just hitting it high and deep to Kyle Martino. Oh, and I'm going to have to ask Chris whether he meant to do that or not, but that, 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 that is a really smart shot in that Kyle was a little bit out of position, and normally he would hit that tight along the wall. What Chris did is he hit it right where Kyle was and went for his body, and it worked. Oh, there's the tomahawk. Oh, 
Oh boy, and off a return of serve. Oh boy, this is a psychological game at the moment. When uh, when you're playing a really good team, you, you got to go out and beat them, but you can't make errors, and, that, and that, it's probably a little bit of experience of being in that position. Kyle going for the tomahawk, just missed. Everyone's resetting here. Uh, all right, I heard uh, Flesh being struck by a racket, and what happened was that um, with Elroy's overhead, his follow through hit uh, Sam. So we're going to play a let. I'm not sure exactly where Sam took it, but uh, it might have been in the arm. Nice retrieval from the back of the court from from uh, Chris Callis. Just got it back, so now the teams are resetting. And Elroy says, sorry, he hit Chris with the ball on the way to the, uh, he was trying to hit a roll. Oh, good try by Chris, but uh, that was a really nice drop shot by uh, Elroy. Okay, so... Sam Khalifa started with the standard straight um, cross court to Kyle's knee. Then he brought it a little further up, and now he's going for his left hip. So Kyle made an error there. So he's, he's completely befuddled what, uh, when Sam tees it up, what he's going to do. And there's another really nice straight drop by Elroy. But they're down. Serving 8-12 to the number two seeds are trying to at least make it into the final and possibly exact some revenge on the last big tournament. That could be trouble. Although Sam gave him a standard cross court. Good rally here where they're using all kinds of angles to hit the ball to the back of the court. Good rail by uh, Elroy. He made a couple of errors and then since then he's hit a number of winners. So he's got his touch back. 9-12. Trying to stay in this match. Yeah, and, and Kyle says sorry to his partner because what happened was he, he broke the ball too early where Sam took his space and took Elroy completely out. And uh, Sam just hit a perfect straight rail. Oh. 
tight ball. Okay, we got game ball for the number two seeds. Chris Callis, sorry, Nicole Martino. And Sam Khalifa just slots a uh, nice little drop. Number two seeds are in the white shorts are up two games to level. We'll be back in two minutes. Don't go away. Okay, we're back. Start of the third game. This is Andrew Slater coming from the University Club in Boston. This is the 2024 MFS Pro-Am doubles. Second men's semifinals. Uh, the number one seeds have already made it into the tomorrow's midday final. That is uh, James Stout and Scott Arnold. The team in the white shorts, the number two seeds are trying to make it uh, into a revenge match because they lost the, the last big tournament. Um, it was a one-pointer in the third, and then they lost the fourth. Not that close. But, um, anyway, so uh, Elroy Leong and Kyle Martino are now serving one, one point to love. They are the current U.S. national champions. They won that uh, three weeks ago in Philadelphia. Now, that used to be the U.S. Amateur, but uh, lately they've let uh, professional teams in. Um, that's everybody except for the top four teams. So they were the best of, you know, number five and all the way down. Uh, and uh, that's really good of uh, Elroy to call his ball not up. Um,
Chris Callis has won this tournament four years in a row with three different partners, and Sam Khalifa is his fourth partner there. There is the deft touch of Sam Khalifa where even the hard ball, he can take the pace off and just slot it into the next. So. Okay, the score, okay, uh, we're getting, we're trying to get the scoreboard back to the correct score, but it's 3-2, Cal is serving to Martino. Good dig by Chris Callis. Little, how was the top spin reverse from Sam Khalifa? Great rally here. Ooh, tricky bounce. That's a backhand Philly, not bad. Oh, that's a good dig by Carl Martino, wow. Oh, Elmore's got to go off the back wall after a bad bounce. Philly. Martino tried to tomahawk. Oh, Elroy got into trouble there. He tried a roll and it, and it didn't come out the way he wanted. And great rally. Fans appreciate it. But uh, that was a uh, let point to Chris Callas and Sam Khalifa. So 4 2. I'm trying to get the scoreboard correct. That's a good drop shot by Kyle Martino. Okay, it should be uh, Sam Khalifa serving 4-3. So we're almost, there we go. we now got the correct score. Um, Scott Arnold is a line judge and working the pad with the score. And we all as well. And we're going to call a let there. Sam trying to go through the middle uh, twice in a row. short Philly that was going to come into the middle and got hit by his own ball. Very embarrassing. Luckily, this full gallery um, didn't see it. Just kidding there, by the way. Oh, boy. Error. So, you know, this is, this is a typical, you know, really good, really good team and a team that's up and coming, trying to learn what not to do. And what not to do is to give them easy, easy points on errors. And uh, it's an error from Kyle Martino. So at this point, you know, you want to buckle down and just 
make the guys in the white shorts earn it. Keep them honest by Okay, I was wondering about uh, Sam. Sam's got a big follow through on the swing and he hit um, uh, hit Elroy in the forehead with his follow through. Scott? He's calling for Scott Arnold. Chris Callis is uh, asking um, Elroy whether he wants to take a few hits there. Yeah, he's, he's joking that he made a couple of errors in a row. Maybe that'll help him taking a hit in the forehead from Sam Khalifa. Oh, it's a good angle from Carl Martino. Saw that Sam Khalifa was uh, having trouble getting back and went for him. Um, tried to hit him in the body and actually got the nick. Oh. I don't know where he had him backed out, but, you know, they keep going short to, to Sam. Maybe too many times he's... Very good at the short balls. Oh, that's a nice hold. They're all going back for the, the lob. rally here using all of the court all four players Elroy forced to go off the back wall. Here comes the heat from Chris Callis. Got good hands from Elroy. That's a long rally here. It's a good one. Oh, and announcers curse and Chris 10 to 3 wall boast, but they're still up 8. came through the middle. Chris could have hit a backhand pretty easily there. Kyle's giving the referee Susie Poupon a little little cheese, but then now he's laughing. He's going, yeah. Didn't mean it. Oh, that's a short lob from Elroy. And, oh, and he had to back up. And it's Elroy serving now, 5-9. Team in black is in big trouble. Chris Cowell's backing everyone up with his power and then sets up and hits a really nice roll corner. All set up by the last four shots being hard, good length, and team in black on the defensive. That 
that's going to be a tough lob. Elroy just gets it back. Oh. S Sam Khalifa missed a short drop there, and Elroy hit this very soft reverse for a winner. Not out of it yet. 6 10. Behind the back for Kyle, and that's a that's a. Well, so Chris Callis is congratulating his uh, partner, and picking a nice spot where uh, Kyle, although he got it back by going around his back, to keep it in play, it set Chris Callis up for the winner, and that was all created by Sam Khalifa's really good uh, drive, and that's a good start drop by Sam Khalifa. 12-6, number two seeds, trying to make it into tomorrow's final, midday after the ladies' final. Oh, uh, there's a Tomahawk winner from Conrad. shot. Oh, ball almost nicked on the back wall. Oh, and Chris Callis hits it through the middle. Just out of reach of uh, Kyle Martino's backhand. All right, Elroy Leong, big trouble here, 7-13. Almost got Chris Callis. Good dig for the lob. What was interesting there is Kyle probably wanted to hit the reverse and hit the front wall first, and Chris overran, overran it, and now they're asking for the ball to be checked because... They're checking to see whether the ball is broken. Scott Arnold applying pressure to the seams. The, the ball is fine. Eight thirteen. Oh, there's one through the middle that that uh, Elroy made an error on his backhand. But, you know, with the lefty, you, you've got to expect a lot of balls coming through the middle. That's a great cap by Sam Khalifa. <laughs> through the rally, Chris Callis is telling his partner not to hurt himself. Well, it's around the corner reverse by Sam Khalifa. Number two seeds go through to meet the number one seeds tomorrow midday. We'll see you then from the University Club of Boston. This is Andrew Slater signing off. See you tomorrow.